guys, I'm Layla. Welcome. So today we have a showcase for Teros the Fierce, and this is courtesy of Jeepers. He literally just pulled Teros during the Teros 10X event. I'm also wearing my uh, my Lilith horns because Twitch chat asked me to. I am a queen of the people, what can I say? So let's check him out. We are gonna be running him in arena. So you are gonna see that he's in a lethal set. So we have a full lethal set. We also do have a crit damage set. And he does have a specialty banner. It's the revenge, which is a chance to counterattack when hit. So let's check out his stats. So for him, we are gonna be running arena. So we don't have anything special for that, but we do have almost 77,000 HP, 1800 attack, 3100 defense, 191 speed, almost crit capped, 303% crit damage, 175 resistance and 133 on the accuracy. Now for his skills, I wanna say he should be fully booked. He is, and we do have a one-star blessing like you see here. So the one-star blessing is Ward of the Fall and is the one that he went with, which does give bone armor and the stacks decrease damage received by 20%. For his masteries, we have offense and we have defense. So what you don't see behind me is that we have kill streak, blood shield, and then obviously the T6 is going to be flawless execution with the additional crit damage for 20%. Now, I want to point out, so Jeepers literally just pulled Teros during the 10X events, okay? And he also commented how he plans on still trying to re-gear him. But this is the gear that he has right now for him and running in Arena. So let's go check it out. All right, guys, here we are in Arena. We're actually in Platinum Arena here. And you're going to see that the team is Ursuga and lead for Ally HP in all battles. Marichka, Teros, look at Siffy. Siffy with a six-star blessing. That's a spicy Siffy. So let's check out the presets before we hop in. So Ursuga is going to start our bottom up, which is the ally protect and strength, and into the barrel through, which is going to be decrease crit damage, decrease attack, decrease speed, decrease defense. Marich is going to do font of tenacity, fully restores allies, decrease max HP, but she does a shield and a strengthen as well too, right? Into the nurtured friendship, which removes all debuffs from allies, fills the turn meter as well, and increases resistance for each debuff removed. Terras, constant pressure, is going to be AoE, damage increased by 15% for each buff on allies, and he gets a heal as well too, and also restores max HP. Into Hero's Intercession, which is going to be a stun. Now, we have Marichka on the team, right? So whenever an enemy attacks Marichka, he also attacks too. And then Siffy, we're going to do Love Beyond Death, which is going to be the increased attack and increased crit rate. And then Whirlwind's Romance, which is going to be the block debuffs, increased defense, and increased speed. Okay? So here we go. We're up against Valkyrie, Warlord, Siffy, and Kaimar. Oh, put the 2x on. We're going after the Reviver. Oh, look at Marichka with her... Uh, got stone skin on her. Love it. Marichka and Terras together are just pretty strong, huh? Not everybody is lucky enough to actually have one of them, let alone both of them. See, Terras keeps doing some, like, counterattacks. You see that? When these champs are, like, doing their AoEs and it's hitting Marichka, he's just kind of counterattacking them. Again, just like that. Love it. He just hit that Siffy pretty hard, too. You guys see how much of the shield he took off? So Jeepers does have two comps currently. This is the one where Suga's in lead for the HP. He also has another one where Marichka's in lead for the speed instead. But we knew that this team was going to go first. Oh, look at that. Siffy Gonzo. We knew that this team was going to go first. So with that, we wanted to kind of withstand anything they were going to do, which is why we went with the Ursuga one for the HP. All right, we're not worried about these two. Can't wait to see how much damage Teros does. You see all those counterattacks? That's basically just him. He keeps counterattacking. And our team really hasn't been in any danger. Like, not at all. Not that. How did you guys do during the 10X Teros and 10X Marichka? Were you guys able to pull them? 
I actually didn't have any shards. I tried during cardio. How did it go for you guys? There we go. Very nice. Let's see how much damage he did. He did 326,000. Again, so they really didn't have much going on here. Look at Siffy with the 328 heals. Marichka actually has 357,000 too. So quite a bit here. So the other thing we're going to do too is I know that my chat tends to be a big fan of campaign farming. So let's go take Taros running. Let's, uh, let's go toss him in here and see how he does by himself. Let's go. 2x and auto. Boom. Three seconds. Get him, Taros. Okay. 12. Nice. We're going to do it one more time because we actually started on 1x. Go, Taros. Go. Jeepers, thank you so much for the showcase. Guys, drop me some comments down below. If you have Taros, you know, where are you running him? I mean, ideally, he's made for arena like you've seen, especially if you have Marichka as well. Look at that, 13 seconds. Jeepers, thank you so much for the showcase.